topping the tent tonight, New York State is now taking a tougher stance on stalking. And it's the memory of this murdered mother that's fueling that change. Jackie Wisniewski was shot to death by her estranged boyfriend almost two years ago at ECMC. Rachel spoke with her brother tonight, and she picks up our story live from the newsroom. Rachel? Dave Wisniewski was emotional about this. He calls it a monumental change. Jackie's abuser was using a GPS to stalk her and track her movements, and right now, that is not against the law. But a bill passed by the Assembly today would change that. The state assembly on Tuesday passed Jackie's law, which for the first time would make it a crime for perpetrators of domestic violence to install and use GPS devices to stalk their victims. Jackie Wisniewski had found one of those devices on her car before her estranged boyfriend fatally shot her at ECMC. I don't think uh, a lot of people understand the amount of fear that, that these victims are, are under. They're often feel, they often feel like they're in helpless situations. Uh, their whole world is crumbling around them. And it's very difficult to reach out for help. And I, I know that's what my sister was going through. Dave Wisniewski says making GPS stalking a crime became one of his family's biggest priorities. He credits Senator Tim Kennedy and Assemblywoman Crystal Peoples Stokes for sponsoring Jackie's law. It's a step, it's a forward step that we're taking. There's a lot of work to be done. But again, anytime you can show a victim that there is light at the end of the tunnel, it's a good thing. Senator Kennedy says Jackie's law will empower law enforcement and prosecutors to go after these perpetrators in ways they've never been able to before. Stalkers who use GPS systems or electronic devices to follow the movements and locations of their victims will immediately be charged with stalking in the fourth degree. And the legislation will also help to streamline the process of securing an order of protection. Wisniewski says his sister was afraid that pressing charges would escalate her situation. There's no telling how things might have been different if this law had existed in 2012. We want to get away from victim blaming. We want to shine the light on the abuser. And, and instead of a asking questions like, why didn't she just leave? We should be asking questions like, why didn't he just stop? Jackie's law still needs the approval of the state Senate and the governor, but Senator Kennedy says he's very confident that will happen and the law will be on the books later this year. In the newsroom, Rachel Kingston, News 4 at 10. Thank you, Rachel.